The exhibition is called Standing in the Doorway. It is a project that is a joint partnership between uh, York Region District School Boards Museum and Archives and Markham Museum here in Markham, Ontario. It is a traveling exhibition uh, as well as a website and the touring exhibition is in two parts, one that will go museum to museum and library and other cultural centres over the next 18 months and also a school-to-school -school version that's a pop-up that can travel between classrooms to uh, share the, the information and the history that we have developed for this project. We're so excited. Uh, Standing in the Doorway, Lived Histories and Experience of the Chinese Community is here at Markham Museum. It's open. Um, it's, uh, it's been a year of planning and interviewing and talking with members of the Chinese community not only in Markham, but in York Region and Toronto, and we're so excited to finally have this exhibit open to the public. I had an encounter with a member of the community who was interested in doing something to focus on the recognition and acknowledgement of the Chinese Exclusion Act of 1923, 100 years ago, and what we could do to educate and bring that into the classroom and into the public focus so people could understand the challenges that the Chinese communities have faced in Canada. It's a very broad diaspora, it's very complex and very unique. And in Markham, it represents close to 50% of the population. Because this was a YRDSB joint project, it was very important to have youth voices in addition to um, seniors and leaders in the community from the adult ages and senior groups. So we were very, very lucky to work with a number of educators the Burr Oak Secondary School has produced two amazing works of art. Uh, the first one is in our main lobby. It is a quilt based on paper cut designs, traditional Chinese um, art form. And then a second piece, which is actually above my head uh, right now, which is a lino print piece that was done by the nine and 10 students. And then they also had the opportunity to produce a documentary about the entire project both what they learned from the history, what they learned from a visit to the museum where they all attended. Most of the graphics in the exhibition also include artwork from Unionville High School. And then we also worked with um, Nokita uh, Public School and their students uh, provided input into the interactives that are in the exhibition and also the education kits that will tour with the, the project, both to the schools and to the public realm. In December, 2022, I got this opportunity to work with York Region District School Board, Museum and Archives about um, the exhibition standing in the doorway, which ties right into our school population. So I figured it would be great to bring it back to my school and um, talk to my students and see what ideas they may have. They came up with amazing ideas of what to add on. So student voice was uh, dominant in this project, including some miniature dim sum, um, miniature um, Hong Kong style cafe foods, um, books about idioms, um, Chinese architectures. And not only that, they talk to their parents about it as well. And then their parents are also helping out in this exhibition. So I have uh, quite a few parents and grandparents coming in to help us as well. So we are thankful for that. I love how like York Region is creating this eight Chinese project. It makes me feel happy and excited. Like there's some parts about, um, about the Canadian history and Chinese history uh, that I never really learned about. There is still a bit of it that we still haven't learned about that I now learned. By doing these activities, we are educating other people living in the YRDSB about our culture and how amazing it is and about all the amazing inventions they made, how fun it is, what the Chinese used to do. So we don't want to let our culture fade. Also, our, like knowing what our ancestors did in the past, just knowing that they did these, all of these inventions that are still used today is just like amazing. Really. I feel like a star. Because like, these things are big for us, so we're just excited to share this to the whole world. Yeah, me too. It's like kind of my first time trying this and then showing our work to the social media and 
I love people. I was part of the process, like helping with the banners and everything. So being able to see it in real life, this is such a surreal moment because I'm like, I can't believe everything has finally came together. And it's just like, I feel very proud of like being able to, like an honor to participate in something like this. People are happy to see the story told, this really important story, talking about the contributions, the resilience, the resistance of the Chinese community here in York Region. And we're so thankful to be trusted with this, um, the, these stories and these lived experiences from the communities. Very, very meaningful for me. Uh, I come to Canada 32 years ago and uh, as an international student, looking back on how the Chinese community have been able to uh, show their resilience, uh, their uh, perseverance, how they are able to contribute to the community and the school board and the community as a whole. It is truly amazing to uh, see all the community leaders come together and I am truly honored and humbled to be part of it. So thank you very, very much.